Do we have Merry that? Christmas. Yes. Hi, Coach. How are you? Hi, I'm doing all right. How are you guys? Um, we're great. Um, can we just, if you don't mind, start with an opening statement from you, please? Absolutely. Um, first start off that I'm really grateful. We got a couple, we got a game in. Um, very fortunate with that. All the test results, everyone um, is safe. And so we we're able to get a game in here and come back at it tomorrow. Um, Coach Valley gets the, gosh, gets those Hartford Hawks playing extremely hard. So I think it was a well, well fought battle today, um, especially with the circumstances of a postponement uh, yesterday and back at it today. Um, I was going to bring up, you know, the circumstances you're planning on playing yesterday. Obviously that changes. Now we're playing Monday, Tuesday. Um, can you just talk about like that back to back, um, how grueling it is and just even with the schedule changes, what that can do to a team uh, mentality? Absolutely. Uh, it definitely can wear on our, our younger ladies bodies. That's for sure. They're playing heavy minutes. Um, the way we've been looking at it, especially um, because we've only played other one other series, the way we are looking at it and our mentality with conferences, um, at least we get another chance, another opportunities to make the adjustment, um, to make the adjustments. And for us, it's a huge growing piece. Uh, we're very young this year. And so for us and our mentality, it's getting better every single day and growing together. Uh, so for me with these back-to-back -back games, I think it, it makes you grow um, and it makes you kind of improve very quickly and kind of have the next play, next game mentality. Um, so I think it's, I, I'm enjoying it. I um, mean, I like it. I will say just because of course it's no dwelling. It's how can we get better and how can we make those adjustments for the next day? No, oh, that's certainly true. Um, those are all good points. Just one more question. If you could talk about, um, you know, the last 15, 20 seconds of the game, you guys had two chances to tie. Um, can you just talk about what was, what was drawn up in those huddles and what, um, you know, either was executed or was not executed? Absolutely. Um, right there on the, on the sideline there. Um, gosh, now I'm thinking 16 on top of my head. Oh my gosh. I, I'm blanking now. Um, but the first sideline that we had near the bench, um, we actually, we drew something up. We wanted to actually get a quick two. If we didn't get that quick two, we wanted to get a driving kick option, um, to our shooter, Brooke Kane. Um, for us, it's, a lot of our young ladies haven't been in these situations before, especially late games. So for us, it's getting them used to close games and allowing them to gain confidence. Um, I'll tell you, I mean, Brooke Kane being a sophomore uh, hasn't been put in that situation yet. Um, so for me, I'm proud of her for taking that shot and to take it confidently. Um, so I really believe that next time it will go down. Uh, the next shot, I will say in the baseline out of bounds, um, we were coming right back to her. Uh, cause you know what, it was so close that next time and I want her to feel good and get that other chance to knock it down. So we were going to go into a little handoff with Amanda and, uh, get a little throwback option right there, expecting that they would trap it, hoping we get more space, but making the adjustments, long story short. <laughs> well, it was a fun game. I'm glad we got it in today. Um, that's all we need from you, unless you have anything else that you want to add. I'm good. Back at it tomorrow. So thank you all so much. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. You as well. Bye-bye. Bye, Coach.